Hey guys, welcome. Good afternoon. Amazing. So I'm pretty excited to announce that you our first podcast and it's going to be about what is it going to be about, Kasamboy? It's going to be about uh, how to learn English in general. All right. So we're going to have general perspective of learning English and the all the thing you need and motivation, the like all details will be included in. We're going to start it right now. This is amazing. I'm pretty excited. So uh, what do you think about this, Hasanboy? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's uh, It came to come our mind. And I think we have to talk about the mostly the ways, the method of learning English. Exactly. Because most students, most learners can't find the way, the best way. So they just, they're interested in learning English. But when they travel with this, they, their interest will be gone, you know? Exactly. You know, like most uh, difficulties usually oppose students from learning English. They kind of demotivate them and they are discouraged to learn English and go for that. And I don't know, like keep going, learning English. So uh, so what's your suggestion? What's the solution for those students and motivation? Like how, how can you motivate them? Okay. The motivation is be- uh, comes from the, what they're interested in a lot. So exactly. at that time, they, they're interested in English and they Amazing. have to make it interesting. Exactly. Because more boring things that just demotivate it. Yeah, I so see. They, ha- they might just find videos or they might watch the movies. Exactly. I, I, what I recommend to most of my students is that like, I just recommend to relate their hobbies and like incorporate them with their with English. You know, if you are interested in reading books, just read book in English. If you're interested in watching movies, watch it in English. So it's going to be a very beneficial once you complete it. And you sh- mustn't expect a good result in a short period of time. It's going to take a month, what do you think? Yeah, well, that's called the atmosphere. Yeah, it's called the they atmosphere. Have to, you have to build your atmosphere. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't. Uh, you have to make your phones. You have to make your devices in English. So exactly, it helps you to know the new words. They definitely use it in new words. And if you just try that, something the settings in your phone, then then you know what is that word works for with. And turning to kind of internet, internet, you have to use it with English, for example, that you're learning English, then it'll help you kind of, you have to search with the how to words, that's the keys, that's the keys, how, how you learn English fast, exactly. Exactly. Uh, or anything, let's say you are intermediate level, then it's a really great thing to do with, you have to search English, search stuff, search exactly. things you, you on the that, internet, like, yeah. but with the English language. Exactly, you said that like Google engine, using like search Google engine, with the English word because like even if you use the you know if you type in Uzbek no information you will be able to find on internet however in terms of English you know if you want to type there is elaborate information and you have to also have the vocabulary otherwise you know the vocabulary helps to understand doesn't matter whether it's mother tongue language exactly but however you know what what problem is like most people write so many words there are abundance of words but 10 percent of them are like the students are capable of using them only 10 percent of the vocabulary they have jotted down on their notebooks okay i think that's not bad too exactly it's not bad it, it helps somehow actually but... there are conversational words and there are like i don't know very advanced words that we don't usually use in context while we're speaking while we're having you know in our daily context you understand well instead of writing or just jotting down hundreds of words or with just translating it's better to make it with the examples then learn and then put them into action that's the best way of learning new vocabulary yes amazing so let's then cover uh, the other aspects of learning english for example just let, let's go for writing the most people i know struggle with writing and I, I myself I myself kind of failed to achieve higher school in Ireland. I don't want to tell what school was. Well, well, well I'm one of them too. Yeah. I, I can't So remember. we're in the same boat right now. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, we're a cup of tea. Uh, yeah. was, uh, no, it's like we're in the same boat. So we're uh, like I was we're on the same, the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. Uh, I hate writing. But I like typing, but I can't write an essay. That's my problem because uh, I'm not interested in sitting and writing something a lot with long period of time. Well, well, I can't spend I, yeah. my hours with I writing see. because it's just boring for me. 
Yeah, maybe I can't have the really great marks. Six marks from the IELTS, six score, seven score from the writing. And I don't care how, how much marks I get from the writing, but I care with my listening and reading. I think but it is you, you have to have a talk. balance, do you understand? It is you who has to talk about writing, because yeah, yeah. I'm not... All right, let me let me That's speak about writing. That's not my cup of tea. Okay, it's not your cup of tea. All right, so you have to talk about yeah. it. <laughs> all right, and my the writing is not my type as well. You know, like, yeah, yeah. so what I think about writing is the writing usually stimulates the creativity part of your brain. You know, you have to like stay focused for a long time, for a long period of time, and write a bunch of words, especially very advanced words, and you have to use them in an advanced. Grammar. So everything should be advanced into advanced like, level in, in advanced level actually. Yeah, how about for the beginners? For the beginners. <laughs> well, what, like, what would you suggest yeah, for the training. beginners of writing? Yeah, training. Just read books. Read anything. Read magazines. Read books. Read newspapers. Jot down all the new words you encounter as you read these books. And what really motivated me, like read books you are interested in reading. Then I said I my field is business. I'm interested in marketing, accounting, investing. So I read books related to these areas and I I'm really curious. You know, I just complete a book in a week. Wow, that, that's that's right. usually like uh, more than 200 pages, more than 200 pages. Like I complete them in a, in a week. I, although I spend like about three or two hours. You're probably going off topic, you know. <laughs> you have to talk, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to talk <laughs> about writing, just, not yeah, exactly. reading actually. Uh, reading really also helps writing, you know, like it's all about oh, vocabulary. Yeah. It's about vocabulary. And you see that how the vocabulary is are uh, used it. in yeah, yeah. different contexts. As you encounter, you, it also helps you to learn new words. You know, you don't need to even jot down those words and you go along, read, 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 and you encounter new words. And like uh, the ones you encounter with five times, it's not a new word anymore. You, you only get the concept. You don't uh, even need to look out for its meaning on the dictionary. Let me talk about something. Uh, the time when I was a beginner, we had to write an essay. All right. Well, actually, we didn't know something. We didn't know anything, actually. Then I was really kind of decreased, degraded, because I didn't know something. And so maybe this is the reason why I hate writing. <laughs> because you know, no one time, taught you that the time, simple formula yeah, yeah. that applies for writing. And uh, the second reason, at that time, I was really busy. I was busy with my own studies, kind of, not only English. So I think the other stuff, other atmosphere influences in your way. You know, like um, in your yeah. a, in your any field, you know. Yeah, the I, fields, I understand. Between the fields, they just influence with each other. Yeah, I do understand that. You have to get deep into English if you want to learn English fast in a really short yeah. period of time. Otherwise, yeah. you, as we told, you have to make atmosphere, you have to learn vocabularies, and you have to be with the guys who are upper than you. When you chat, when you be with the lower English learners, you go learn. When you talk, when you have conversation with the upper guys, I mean, the advanced guys, then you get something new. Yeah, That's exactly. The first, but the first but co- to do that, you have to learn to listen. Yeah, the core idea of to listen, and try to speak. Make them don't, talk. Don't think that they'll laugh at you. Don't think that you're not good at it. Just try. Just try. Otherwise, you can't build something. It doesn't matter if you feel or embarrassed or think. You just have to start it. Just have to start talking. You have to start the vocabularies the, that you've learned. Then you may just learn English. Yeah, exactly. This is the, the most easiest way. The next thing, you have to imitate people. Imitate people who are natives. Exactly. This helps you the most people lot. don't do that. Like, yeah. students don't do that. This is their first mistake that, you know, like, you have to embrace the language. You have to feel it as if it's your own language. Yeah. You know, but they don't really feel it in that way. If, it, if they felt it in that way, they would be, like, speaking like, even more, even <laughs> like me, or more than... I am doing right now. Well, you have to understand that it doesn't matter whether it is uh, an American speech, an American native, or British native, or an Australian native. It doesn't matter. You have to choose one of them and be in with them. I mean, you have to find their speech, their videos, their movies. And, and don't then be racist. To, yeah, yeah, implement. Don't be a racist. Exactly. Well, that, don't, um, don't, don't say learning, like American accent is yeah. better or a British accent well, is well, better. Yeah, that as I, I do. To learn it. <laughs> <laughs> as, as like we do actually. <laughs> the most British people don't usually like American accent. Therefore, like they just because, humiliate it and abuse yeah, yeah. their. 
because my teacher hated the American pronunciation. And well, I just tried to learn British because I'm really appealing. Exactly. To be open-minded in terms of language. Be open-minded. Accept everything. Yeah. Right? Accept American or British accent. It's Indian accent even. Can you do that? In Indian yeah, accent? I can do it. What do you want to do? <laughs> Amazing. So you can also accept it and learn. You see, he's... <laughs> no, no. I don't think so that I have to learn uh, I mean, Indian accent. You don't accent. need to learn it, actually. You yeah. can accept that language. Yeah. You know, uh, open-minded. The guys know what to choose, actually. Yeah. Whether it's an American or a British, but I, <laughs> I just suggest you that the British is more best. I think exactly, it sounds more professional, yeah. it's formal. Yeah. And while you are listening to British people, they they are way more polite yeah. compared to Americans. First, you can't understand. First, you you won't definitely understand them because. And we don't suggest you to start with British people. No, no, I, I just suggest. <laughs> I'm just suggesting. Don't just really? try me. Come yeah. on. Well, what I have to do. You have to do first, we'll give you some videos or the podcast like this to teach that how to start uh, the British accent. Uh, for now, you have to watch their videos, movies with the subtitles. And then exactly. they try to and use their words, their speech in your, I have to say, in your sentences. Exactly. When you talk first with your friends, first, when you talk yeah. with the guys online, you know, whether chatting or let, not. Let, let's say girls. You yeah, know, like with the girls. Uh, it's better to choose opposite, you know, opposite gender. If you are male, choose a female to talk with. Yeah. It's more interesting. I mean, it's just a, for learning language. It's not about like relationship and getting serious about it. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, like what happened was, you know, I don't know. I'm not really curious about chatting with boys on Instagram or Telegram. <laughs> you know, like, I, I'm not curious <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it doesn't take my curiosity. It doesn't pick my curiosity. If it is a girl, oh my God. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely oh. interested in talking. Let me tell you something. <laughs> the girls will take you off. Don't try to cheat girls. Uh, uh, the, no, one, what, what, one, one thing I love to look at me here, like, uh, because of girls, I failed it a lot in life. <laughs> I failed it a lot, and I faced so high <laughs> it's obstacles. It's going to be really <laughs> interesting. It's some, kind of podcast, these yeah. issues are really personal. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> don't think about your private, well, uh, private okay. life, let All me right, say. So. Okay, we've almost forgotten that. You have to look at the mirror. mirror yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why? Like improving speech. It helps you feel it a lot. You know? All right, so we're covering now the speaking skills that we have to possess uh, to be a fluent and confident speaker in terms of English, right? And so we're suggesting to look at the mirror in front of, uh, like, yeah. in front of the mirror and talk really to yeah. the mirror. if you are like if you are kind of shy talking uh, to yourself on a yeah. video you know, most people that's a cool uh kind of i don't know why they have got phobia you know like natural fear towards Chat chatting phobia yeah, exactly let's call it like, <laughs> like, i don't know let's chatting, let's create something new yeah, <laughs> speech phobia maybe yeah you know so i'm not a therapist first of all i'm not a psychologist but or uh, a what professor I believe, something yeah. yeah but i know that so uh, maybe I, i've got fundamental you know, understanding about psychology. Okay. Uh, what I recommend for those who are afraid of cameras, uh, afraid of being in front of a camera while while they're talking and looking at them, and people who can't talk publicly. Exactly. You know, you, it's not real. It's you're just talking to yourself, and you're yeah. speaking with with, your, with with someone who you can trust. Well, you know, <laughs> I think most people can't understand what we are talking about. We are talking about the mirror. Yeah, we're Let's talk about mirror. in American mirror. Is that mirror? Possible? Mirror? Uh, uh, mi uh, mirror. Okay. Like, mirror. Mirror. How about in Indian? In Indian? Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't really know it. Okay, we're go we are say. talking about a mirror that you have to look at yourself, look at yourself on the mirror, then talk with yourself. If you just can't, uh, I have to say, uh, have when you, you are embarrassed, when you are embarrassed with talking with the guys, with the appearances, families, it doesn't matter, you have to talk with the mirror. You have to talk with yourself. But, but you can't talk a long time. Since it's your opinion. It's the only one you're talking. You understand? If you're talking with a partner, for instance, I'm talking with you, I've got a partner, and you've got different ideas in terms of one topic, and I've got my own view. And I'll share my view, and you've got your own view. I'm like, you know, it's kind of, if you want to discuss, we can discuss for a long time. You know, through learning English, I just talked a lot with myself, really a lot. Really? So have, I, have you ever my, like, looked my at friend, a mirror? My, my great friend, the, my best friend yourself. is my mirror. Exactly. You know, <laughs> my and, mirror. And it you see, that you myself. See, yeah, yeah. You seem uh, to have I, loved yourself. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I see the new vocabulary, the new word or the new sentence, I just copy it. I just translate it into my own language, mother tongue. Then I make a new sentence for myself. I fit that sentence, that word for myself and just make a new sentence 
and use it in my action while talking in uh, the exactly. mirror. And one problem that people have in terms of recording even the voices, they hate listening their voices. You know, oh. they hate listening or watching themselves. You know, what if you don't do that? How can you just find out what your problem is? What's what's the weakest what point of call it? Yeah, <laughs> what's the weakest point of your uh, language? Yeah, you can't find your weakest point. And like, so you seem to have loved yourself. That's why you could watch, right? As a and psychologist, like, yeah. As a psychologist, you have to love I yourself. Could, you know, yeah. as a psychologist, I could say, don't be embarrassed at any situation at any time. Okay, exactly. uh, let me tell, let me speak, let me sound in British or American. Oh. All right. Uh, don't be embarrassed. It. Tell yourself your voice is the most beautiful voice that yeah. you have ever heard in this world. God don't damn it! Ever, don't ever care about others' uh, exactly. ideas, others' thinking. Now, of course, you have to care. You, you have to care. You no, know, like you have so to care. if it's if the it's positive, kind of, yeah, positive feedback. Yeah, positive feedback. Uh, let me and just you say, have to also take sometimes the kind of criticisms. Even yeah, if it hurts. yeah, criticism is better than the kind of degrading something. Exactly. So most people just try to degrade but it, them. It also, it also has to do with the criticism that the way it's expressed, it conveyed. You understand? But yeah. most people uh, criticize, denounce a person directly into their yeah, face, yeah, and yeah, that's, this really hurts. The people who do it, the people you just got the feedbacks like this, don't just listen. Don't just exactly. feel something bad. Just leave them. Go I somebody. Go somebody that listens to you and gives the feedbacks with the positive and criticism. And if way. you want, please leave your comments. What should we talk about in our next podcast? Right. Okay. So, like, what problems do you have in English that we have to find a solution? Discussing with someone, and we'll be hosting uh, some of the guests. You have to uh, exaggerate our yeah, name. Exactly. I, my name is Hassan Boy, and his and name is Forgot. <laughs> Mr. Forgot. Mr. Forgot. Okay. So, and please just leave the comments and. Uh, please let, let us know the problems that you are facing now and uh, let's together find out the what problems are and the solutions exist and we will come out with it let me tell you another thing subscribe to our channel <laughs> and, <laughs> and share this podcast to your friends too exactly please listen to a, a podcast a lot and you know, it really helps you know, while you're watching a movie, it doesn't make your work brain. You don't visualize anything, you understand? It's just like reading a book. You know, you read a book and you visualize and you come up with your characters. For instance, the people at the audience don't really see us, right? But yeah. they kind of uh, come up with an idea that, we're, that they usually imagine who we are and what we're talking about. And if you talk about something, the problems they are having, maybe the, the same problem that they're facing right now, we may have mentioned it while we were speaking. And it feels great, you understand? So we don't do, usually do it on videos. We just, yeah. Okay, I think it's, the, it's almost the end of our podcast. Yeah, so yeah. let's revise what we told them to do. All right, the first thing is atmosphere. You have to yeah. create an atmosphere. The second thing, you have to find the real best, the real part, the best method. The third one, you have to talk lots of times on the mirror for yourself. To yourself, if, if you don't have a partner, of course, you have, if you have a partner reliable and uh, who knows uh, much more than you do in terms of English, of course. And what was the next one? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have to, doesn't matter, don't care that you have to imitate. Don't, yeah, exactly. Then just choose. Imitation is key. Choose one of them and don't degrade others' accents, others' soundings, okay? You have to imitate one of the natives, kind of Americans or British, as much. You have to imitate. Uh, uh, it's up to you to yeah, choose. Yeah. Imitating goes by watching their videos, watching their movies, and not, well, that's called uh, actually. Yeah. You have uh, to learn like whichever program. you are comfortable with. Yeah. Just yeah. go for it. Go for it. But you have to watch podcasts too. You uh, exactly watch. our podcast. Yeah, you have to listen to our podcast actually. I mean, it's not uh, obligatory, but I'm just emphasizing, you know, we are using have to, which means it's very important <laughs> to listen to our podcast and it's very important to leave a feedback about our podcast and please suggest us what we, we should be talking about the uh, in the next uh, our episode in our oh, podcast, wow. of course. Yeah, and we'll be I'm hosting... episodes and <laughs> so we'll make series of <laughs> right, series and episodes and we'll be having a movie. <laughs> like, oh, that's right. Great. Anytime soon, hopefully, we'll be having those opportunities as well. And, I'll <laughs> <laughs> and I also have to mention one thing that we'll be hosting different guests from different education centers. Oh, yeah. yeah we'll and do it. We'll, we'll do it later, after the quarantine. Uh, after the, maybe, uh, not... 
after quarantine, we can just contact them and no, no, like reach out to them and talk with them. You know, like there are a lot of people. I mean, if they agree to come and contribute their part in our podcast, and we'll be really happy, and the like, audience will be happy too. <laughs> So thank you for thank all you. of you all to for listening to our podcast. And I today you... with you were Mr. Hassanboy and Mr. Forgat. Oh. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Yeah, and we wish you all the best. It's all all the best. And please, in quarantine, I think keep learning. The learning is a bad thing. I think it feels really great while you're learning something. We'll make this podcast uh, the better we do. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much.